RPM. This is a cycling workout that delivers maximum results with minimum impact on your joints. You're in control of the workout and you increase the intensity by just adjusting the resistance. For aerobic fitness, burn calories and help you to get lean. Wow. So you have a bicycle now, how do we use it as a stationary bike? Good vibes mga katribo! And welcome to my channel! Sa mga hindi pa po nakakilala sa akin, uh, my name is Coach Vanessa. So I'm here today to share to you some tips that you can use a regular bicycle just like a spinning bike. Wow. Since we have stationary bicycle, use a spinning bike for our RPMs, especially sa fitness first. They have RPM programs and the pro cycling programs, and they really, really miss it. And maybe you have a regular bicycle lying around in the house. If you don't have a stationary bike, these are the things that you can do so you can use them as well. So to find out how to make your bike stationary first, uh, there will be a link available right here. You can click that and you can see the three different bike trainers that you can use to make this regular bicycle a spinning bike. So first off, let's see what you will need. You will need the bike trainer, of course. So bago po kayo bumili, make sure nakakasya yung bike you don't sa bike trainer because sometimes it might not fit because it's too narrow. And then you will need the bike skewer. Of okay, you'll see that it's a little bit more round than your normal skewer. So this is what we'll use and then we will replace this skewer para magkasya po siya sa bike trainer. So in all bike trainers, meron pong spring. Make sure that the spring, the small side, is facing inward and that the bigger side is facing outward. Now set aside your regular bike trainer and make sure that it also has its own spring in so you don't lose it. So as you can see, the small side is facing inward and the bigger side is facing outward. So now I am attaching the bike trainer skewer on my bike, remembering that the spring, the small side is facing inward and that the bigger side is facing outward. Now try to lock it in place and make sure that it is tight enough so that it's not loose kasi pag loose yan baka mahulog kayo. So how do you know na tama na tightness when you close? the rig ng bike trainer magkakaroon po kayo ng indention sa kamay so check out the your hand if you have a little red indention then that's enough tightness so not all bike trainers have the same mechanisms for locking in but for my kinetic bike trainer ganito po yung pag lock niya the most important thing is that your bike is steady on the bike trainer so try to jiggle it around or shake it and see kung loose pa siya dun sa locking mechanism so what i have here is the rocker type na bike trainer po so unless you have that kind of bike trainer just make sure that it does not sway like this and make sure that your bike is stable on it wow. okay moving on we have the tire and the roller surface of your bike trainer so, para tama po yung resistance ng inyong mga gears as you bike, dapat tama rin po yung tightness ng roller surface doon sa tire. So, how do we know that? If it does squeak like this, you will know that it's a little bit loose, so you'll just need to tighten it again. So, kung makikita nyo po na may kaunting baon na po siya sa tire, yun po yung tama, especially pag wala na pong squeak. Wow. Ayan, ready na kayong mag bike trainer. But please don't forget about the bike skewer that we have. Itabi lang po natin siya at wag wawala in. And wag kakalimutan na mag-invest po sa wheel riser block. Dahil kung wala po nito ay magiging unstable yung front wheel niyo. 
Kung hindi po ito kasama sa bike trainer nyo, pwede naman po siyang bilhin separately sa Shopee or Lazada or any bike shop. Okay, so let's get to know your drivetrain. Sa iba-iba pong bisikleta, meron pong three chain rings sa harap. But for uh, my bike, meron lang po tayong dalawa. So just check it out kung ano po yung available sa inyo. Also, sa likod, you will have different kinds of chain rings or cogs as well. So it really depends kung ilan po yung speed ng nakabuilt sa bike nyo. So kapag nasa bike trainer po, yung smallest ring sa likod, that would be the tight resistance. As you move the chain to the bigger cog at the back, this will lighten po the resistance. So, ang tanong sa akin parate, Teacher, um, hindi siya ganun kabigat. So, how do we make the resistance heavier? Okay, so we move the resistance heavier by using the bigger chain ring dun po sa hat. Now, how do we do that? Iba-iba po yung shifters ng different kinds of bikes. For my tri-bike, I have the Dura Ace na electronic. And yes, I need to charge it. Kapag wala na po siyang charge, hindi ako makaka-change ng gears. So that's um, what I have here. For other bikes, there's a lever on the side that makes you change your resistance and changes the chain rings as you pull it up or down. And for most bicycles, the lever on the side, yung malapit sa brakes, just tap it in. This will change your resistance as the chain moves from one cog to the other. So before we proceed with the ride, here are things that you may want to consider. As for me, I have my bike shoes with my cleats already. If you still don't have your cleats or dala nyo pa yung bike shoes nyo sa gym, you may change the pedals of your bike so that it can match the pleats that is on your bike shoes. Pero of course, pwede rin naman yung ordinary shoes lang. And now you're ready to ride. Yan. But safety first po tayo ha. Check out the proper mounting when your bike is on the bike trainer. So what you will need to do first is to put one leg over and saka po kayo maglagay ng feet nyo sa pedal. This will prevent putting unbalanced weight into your bicycle to keep you safe from falling down. So let's see that again. First, you need to take up one leg over your bicycle and that's the only time you can put your feet on the pedal. So most clients that ask about this are yung mga sanay na sa gym stationary bikes. Dun kasi sa stationary bikes ng gym, all you need is to turn the lever right to tighten the gear and then turn it left to loosen the resistance. Pero kung ang gagamitin po natin ay ang bike na katulad nito, kailangan po natin ng gear combinations. Madali naman po siyang tandaan and masasanay kayo as time goes by. So in the RPM program, most of us have the standing climb which you stand on the bike. So I would recommend you using the bigger chain ring for the standing climbs. And then if you want that heavier resistance, use the smallest chain ring at the rear cog. If you move your chain all the way up to the bigger cog at the back, this will loosen the resistance. So the chain is the life of our bicycle. We need to take care of it. And besides having it regularly oiled and maintained, we do not cross chain. So dito po, I have set my chain doon sa second to the last cog because I am using the big chain ring in front. 
So, medyo acceptable pa itong gamit kong chain combination. Big ring sa harap, tapos sa likod, hindi rin po yung pinakamalaki. So, hindi po siya sagat. So, ganun din po kapag nasa harap na chain, ay yung ginamit ay yung maliit na chain ring. Sa likod, hindi ko rin po isasagad dun sa smallest chain ring. Iniiwasan po natin to para hindi mag-overstretch yung chain or kumaskas yung chain doon sa chain ring. Pwede niyo naman pong gamitin yung biggest chain ring doon sa likod ng rear wheel nyo. Only if yung chain ring nyo na nasa harap, ang ginamit ay yung maliit. Hindi ko po mapakita yung maling set ng chain rings dahil yung group set ko po, yung drive drain ko, naka-program na siya sa tama. So, automatically, when my chain ring is in this position, and if I try to go up to a higher or the bigger chain ring, in the front chain ring, automatic po siyang bababa dun sa small. So, ayan po, automatic na bumaba sa small chain ring yung bike ko dahil nakaprogram po siya na iwasan ang cross-chaining. Pero sa manual shifters po, kadalasan ay hindi natin napapansin na nagko-cross-chain na. Just be aware po and check out these examples. Oh, ayan. Ready na ready na kayo mag-workout, guys. Kulang na lang. Malupit na outfit. Check! So, ganun pala yung bogang outfit, no? Anyway, moving on. Proper bike storage. We need to relax the derailleur. Okay, so that we don't overstretch the chain. So what we need to do when we park our bikes is to put the chain to a smaller chain ring at the back as well as the front. And para hindi po ma-deform yung tires natin, tatanggalin po natin yung roller surface away from the wheel. Now, you can decide to keep your bike on the bike trainer, pero kailangan niyo po ilusin yung lock para ma-relax yung frame ng bike niyo. But, it's better to take off the bike from the bike trainer kung matagal niyo pa po siyang gagamitin ulit. And for some reason, a smart trainer is the only thing that's available to you guys. You can use that as well. So smart trainers tighten when there is an incline or an uphill and then it loosens up when it goes downhill. Para matanggal po yung reaction ng bike trainer dun sa mga inclines and declines ng map, if you are using a swift, Yung sa trainer difficulty, just turn it off and it will be just like a classic trainer. Mahira po kasi gamitin yung smart trainer without an app. So this is just one option. Kung meron po kayo smart trainer, you will need to connect it with an application. This app is actually used by cyclists and triathletes to train. Kasi nakaka-motivate siya, maraming badges. Maraming maps, and you can also race with other people all around the world. And one last thing, guys. Don't forget the maintenance of your bicycle. Don't forget regular tune-ups. And after every ride, punasan niyo po yung pawis niyo off the bike. Okay, so you are all set to do your RPM or pro cycling or your indoor spin classes using your bike and your bike trainer. Be safe. Just do make sure to check it if it's steady, okay? Don't forget to check it before you, you sit down. You might uh, fall down on the bike. If you have any more questions, just let me know at the comment section below. So thank you very much, everybody. Um, have a great day. See you soon on the next video.